So on this cold day, we're at Arches National Park. And we want to show you the top things to do when you visit here. It's amazing. Come along. Courthouse Towers. These are the petrified dunes. This is balanced rock. Garden of Eden. That'd be perfect. You see the other one? Yeah, you can see these. I think I got out before they took it out. It's pretty up here, isn't it? That's right. Oh, yeah, her. So we are actually, I need to get out of his way now inside the arch. Our friends are in the room. There's the top of the world. And the way over there is the other one. So pretty. I know it's 
cute. <laughs> we just passed the South Arch and it said primitive trail, so there's no one back here with us. We met one other couple. And I guess when we get back around to the front, we'll be able to see the arch again. Or the north arch or something. But for right now, we're just seeing lots of amazing views. Arches really is a fantastic park. Now here's a little tip for you. Yesterday we came, we didn't get here till about 11.30 or so, and there's a sign out front, park is full, had to turn around and go back. So we went and took the scenic drive yesterday, but they said they typically close this park by about 9 a.m. for several hours. Did you get back in about 3.30 or so? Yeah, we came back in about 3.30 in the afternoon, so if you don't get here before 9 in the morning, don't be surprised if you have to take and turn around and come back later. Yeah, today we got here about 8 a.m. and there was a big long line, but we did make it inside the park, so we were grateful for that. So just a little, you've been warned. <laughs> Up there's the arch. And I guess we're on the back side of it that people don't see when they take the regular trail that's set up. Which it's amazing. So guys, let me tell you, if you take the, what was it called? Primitive trail. The primitive trail that goes around the back of the arches be very careful because it's not very well marked and we've been stumbling around back here for a little bit now and we just decided we would follow these nice people up here and they have led us exactly where we need to go we think so be careful if you take the primitive trail it's beautiful but not marked This is the double arch, as you'll see, it's two arches coming into one, and it's the highest arch in the park. So this right here is the what they call the fiery furnace. And then this out here is this mountain we've been seeing the whole time we've been up here. And it's just absolutely amazing, beautiful, and breathtaking. Okay, pretty bird. <laughs> Wasn't it crows in the movie The Birds that like, yes. got everybody? 
we were just talking about that. No wonder they were allowed to. These birds are everywhere out here. Don't fly. So, wow, we hope you enjoyed Arches National Park as much as we did. It is an amazing place. And if you haven't gone there yet, you really need to make a plan and go visit this place because it is something else to see. Videos do not do it justice. You got to go yourself. That's right. Hopefully, the things we've shared with you here will help you to avoid some of the pitfalls that we had to go through when we were there, like getting not being able to get in because there was too many people there. <laughs> yeah. Take a quick minute and hit the subscribe button. 80% of our viewers are not subscribed and it really helps us when you do that. So hit the subscribe button. Please do. Yep, and also hit that notification bell because we've got more videos coming up on uh, the other Mighty Five parks in Utah that we want to share with you and that we think you will be amazed by. Yeah, Utah is an amazing state. And don't forget to share the video if you know someone who likes to travel as much as we do. That's right. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.